Now, if it's never occurred in my career before, and that now everything has been sorted out, I'll be back to my very best form, signed to... <laughs> <laughs> Just about enough of this. Oh, Harry. How could you forget about it? Almost made me another Waldorf salad. Making another Waldorf salad. What are you making another Waldorf salad for? So careful, Mr. Morley. I'm not here, Mr. Morley. Well, what do you think, Mr. and Mrs. Hamill, if it's thing? With them. <laughs> Mr. Hamilton, may I introduce Terry Hugh? Did you see him? Maybe he went to get something to eat. <laughs> Not laughing. Oh, me! Look, she'll love it. She's German. No, Mr. Walker. What? <laughs> Do Jimmy Cagney instead. What? Jimmy Cagney. Jimmy Cagney? You no, know, yo, Daddy Ray. I can't do Jimmy Cagney. Well, please try. I'm gonna go. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, watch. Who's this then? Stop you, my <laughs> You brought him his breakfast? Yes. So you told her he was dead? Yes. Well, then, why did you bring him... <laughs> why did you bring him the milk, then? Why? Yes, why? Well, when he said Mr. Lehman was dead, I thought he said he's still in bed. Well, he didn't exactly say he was dead, Doctor. Well, I, I said he was pretty quiet. Quiet? Exactly. What were you talking to him about, Basil? Car strikes, was it? Thank you, Sybil. I don't understand. He's been dead for about ten hours. Yes, it's so final, isn't it? Basil! Well, wouldn't you say it was final, dear? I'd say it was pretty bloody final. <laughs> you mean to tell me you didn't realise this man was dead? Well, look, people don't talk that much in the morning. Oh, look, I'm just delivering a tray, right? If the guest isn't singing, oh, what a beautiful morning, I don't immediately think, oh, there's another one snuffed it in the night, another <laughs> name in a 40 Towers Book of Remembrance. I mean, this is a hotel, not a Burma railway. Basil! Well, I mean, he does actually say hotel outside. You know? I mean, perhaps I should be more specific. Hotel for people who have a better than 50% chance of making it through the what are, you, what are you looking at me like that for? Basil, there's a kipper sticking out of your jam. <laughs> oh, there it is. I've been looking for that. That's the other one. Mrs. Richards, how very nice to see you. Are you enjoying your stay? There's no need to shout. I have my hearing aid on. Oh. And Mrs. Richards, I've explained to my... I've husband. just been up to my room. Eighty-five pounds has been taken from my bag, which I had hidden under the mattress. Oh, yes? It's a disgrace. I haven't been here a day. What sort of staff do you employ here? Mrs. Richards. If you knew anything at all about running a hotel, this sort of thing wouldn't happen. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> You better go and lie down before something else happens. <laughs> Why don't you call the police? No, we will the moment we've searched the room. <coughs> My money's been yes, taken. Yes, I know. Try not to speak. Is this a piece of your brain? <laughs> Eighty-five pounds. Take my arm. I don't need your arm, thank you. I can get down the stairs perfectly well. Down the stairs? Oh, well, don't stop when you get to the basement. Keep straight on. Give my regards to the Earth's core. Are you sure you can manage? And if you give us any more trouble, I shall visit you in the small hours and put a bat up your nightdress. <laughs> oh, that was fun, wasn't it, dear? The odd moment like that. It's almost worth staying alive for, isn't it? It's nice to share a moment like that, isn't it, dear? It's what marriage is all about. I know, I read it on the back of a matchbox. <laughs> Yes. Well, supposing the health 
inspector had seen it. I know. He could have closed us down. Well, what are you going to do with it, Bowser? You can't keep it in here. I know. And don't let it loose in the garden. It'll come back in the house. Can't we get to our mastermind, Sybil? Next contestant, Sybil Forty from Torquay. Special subject, the bleeding obvious. I wasn't going to let it go in the garden. I... Well, what are you going to do with it? I don't know. I'll take it away. Let it go. Give it its freedom. You can't do that, Bowser. He wouldn't be able to defend himself. He's a rat, isn't he? He's domesticated, aren't you? Well, you're domesticated. You do all right. <laughs> Look, he's not going to get mugged by a gang of field mice, is he? Basil, he's Manuel's pet. We have a duty to it. Perhaps we could find a home for him. All right, I'll put an ad in the papers. I wanted kind home for enormous savage rodent. <laughs> Answers to the name of Sybil. Look, <laughs> I'll take him out into the country, let him no, go. No, and... I cannot abide cruelty to living creatures. Well, I'm a creature. You can abide it to me. You're not living. <laughs> Look, Manuel, we were just wondering... Mrs. What Forty, do... please understand, if he go, I go. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> please, listen, you know, we really can't keep him here. The health inspector wouldn't... Mrs. Like... Forty, he here one year. He do no harm. But, Manuel, listen, if they see you're right, they could close the hotel down. Perhaps it would be simplest to have him put to S-L-E-E-P. <laughs> Who? Him or the rat? <laughs> well, if I get a discount, if we had them both done. Split.